Hello guys, it's Nim and welcome back to my channel. Today is Friday and Friday means Planet Zoo on this channel. And today we are continuing to work on our Woodland Zoo. And in case this is your first video on this channel, hello, welcome. My name is Nim and welcome to the Woodland Zoo. The Woodland Zoo is basically my dream zoo, so I put all the animals in here that I want to put in here and I make the habitats as big and as extra as I want them to be. And today we are building for the American bison. And I keep wanting to say African bison, but it's not because we already did that one in the safari. It's the American bison and I'm very sorry, but I'm guessing I'm going to say this wrong very often in this video. So apologies ahead, but you know, it just looks alike, I'm sorry. When I think bison, I think African, I don't think American. And that's probably just my fault, but you know, it's just where my mind goes, you know, who can help that? So we are starting off this build with some terrain editing and we haven't even begin with fencing or barriers, we are just doing the terrain. And I, it's actually very difficult to do this terrain because I want it to be, I don't know, kind of like mountains but not like over exaggerating and i think uh in the end they actually look quite good obviously now um they don't but that is partly to do with it just not being painted yet and it still looks green and brown and yuck it will look better we are gonna skip over the entire barrier part though because um that was some hassle to put in that barrier was not easy but we managed and that's important. So right now we are going to build a shelter place for them. And we are making the shelter place similar to what we also did to the entrance. We are having this stone base and then on top of it we are putting roof. And we are going to use the arctic uh, wood pieces. Just because they are American bisons. And I, in my mind bisons always live in like this really cold area. But according to the Zoopedia, these bisons actually live in a grassland biome. Which, um, if I hear grassland, I don't think cold. If I hear grassland, I think savanna. So, but, you know, whatever. It's, it's the way it is, you can't do anything about it. But we are gonna give them an arctic place. Also, usually, I take into consideration the plants that the animals want and how many plants they like. I didn't do that this time because it is a very big surface area that they have. Like uh, American bisons only need 400 square meters. They got, I think it was 2800, so it's quite big. They have enough space. Let's just leave it at that. They have enough space, more than enough. But that also means that they need more plants and they don't like uh, Christmas trees and pine trees. Well, tough luck for them because I wanted them to have it, so they are having it. And it's not like it's hurting them in any way, they're just a little bit less happy with, this, uh, with the vegetation. And I can totally live with that, just FYI, I can live with that, it doesn't bother me. Well, um, I think this is episode 16 in the Woodland Zoo, which means we had 14 animals, because we had the entrance, no animals, and then we had our giant uh, food called the two llamas, which is this enormous like um, Latin American temple. If you haven't seen that, uh, make, make sure you check out the playlist. I'm actually quite proud of the way that it turned out. Obviously, the, I think the sound on that is maybe a little bit less than I have the sound right now. But, you know, um, that's the way life is. You can't really do anything about it. Like, I'm learning. I'm still learning, I'm still learning a lot about this game as well. But for the first time in a long time, I actually remembered that I can copy and paste things. So that is very useful in this video, especially when we start doing rock working on the exterior. Because, oh my gosh, if I didn't remember to copy and paste that, it would have been an utter nightmare. Luckily, I did remember, so we're all good there. So right now we are going to check what the uh, American bison actually likes and we are starting off with the rocks. Now initially I wanted all the mountains to be rocks, but uh, like the bison is not happy with that. So I kind of had to shift in that. So you can see still a lot of rock, but we also going to use some sand and some grass just to make sure that our uh, American bison is happy. I keep wanting to say African. I'm sorry guys. Like. 
I still do it. I have to remind myself American Bison, so not African. American. I'm probably gonna say it wrong a couple times. So again, apologies. So inside of the uh, shelter, I actually want it to be like a little bit sandy. Because, you know, they're walking there, they're lying there, so the grass is gonna go away, which is natural. So gra grass, <laughs> sand is all that's left. Now, initially, I had the idea of still sticking with the vegetation that they wanted but as you can see um you have like 16 items to choose from and that's it and i am not content with that i wanted more so we are now just uh, filtering on continents and we are just going to move off to north america maybe if i wanted something more uh representative and real to life i should have just chosen grassland and only but you know it's life, it doesn't matter, it's just the way it is. And um, I actually really like all the different kind of trees. Like you have like the maple trees, you have the Christmas trees, you have pine trees, you have all these little weird plants on which I don't know what they're called. I mean, can anyone even name all the plants in Planet Zoo? There are a lot. And then we are going over to the rock area. Now I did make this uh, grassland rock. So there are a little bit of the red orangey and initially it fitted really good but then you go to the rock side and it just doesn't look as good anymore because this rock only blends with sand really well and oh my gosh i have the feeling that i'm talking so fast i'm sorry i'm just rambling on okay i'm gonna try to speak less fast like more relaxed so you guys can actually follow it because i do have the tendency of talking really fast or you know maybe you just are not listening fast enough who knows anyways um we are now just putting some enrichment items for our bisons and i'm not actually sure if they can walk up that uh rock like grass feature that we have there i'm pretty sure they can but i'm not entirely sure but it would be pretty fun to see them on there and obviously we're gonna have barriers and like i said in the beginning i'm gonna use only natural barriers uh, yeah that doesn't actually work for bisons and didn't work for this habitat so we are just gonna leave that is and i actually really like the way that it looks obviously i could have done something with water but since these animals can swim um no thank you i did just cut out the entire part of me placing down uh, education boards and educational speakers because, you know, it's just me placing them down every so meters and then clicking on them saying American Bison. And that's quite boring. I did find out that a lot of the guests are actually uh, running from the back all the way back to the front for the toilets. Apparently, I forgot to put toilets anywhere else in the park except in the front. So uh, there will be an additional to a few toilets added starting here with the African American Bison. <laughs> I almost did it. And um, obviously we're gonna be a little bit arctic here, especially since um, the bridge that is, or like the pathway is also going to the Himalayan bear, which is actually behind the American bison. And if you haven't seen that build, I actually, I think it's one of my favorite builds giving uh, terrain and vegetation. So make sure you check that out. It is linked down below as well. And also will be linked to playlist at the end of this video, so make sure you stick around for that. Right now we are making some toilets and we are thought of um, like decorating them really fancy and actually quite like the way that it is. So which one is for men and which one is for women? Um, I'll let you guys decide that. I'm not going to fill that in. Have fun with deciphering which is which. And I think... Apart from uh, the rock rocking, the rock work uh, on the exterior, we are almost done. And I was just thinking here, like, oh my gosh, I need to do this entire rock wall on my own. And I was like, wait, I can just copy items. How dumb am I? So um, it does mean that if you download this zoo um, when it goes up on the workshop, you will have a lot of items. So do make sure that you have like a monstrosity of a computer because it will be very, very heavy on your PC. I mean, just all these rocks, there are like, here are 660 rocks in just that bit. And I have copied over that bit quite a lot. So, you know, be careful 
when you install this. I think we are almost at the end now, so do stick around for some more cinematics of the American bison and its habitats. And guys, I will hope to see you on Sunday when we upload another episode of our uh, Australia Zoo and which animal we're gonna do. I'm gonna give that a surprise, but I will hope to see you guys on Sunday. Bye guys!